Hello, welcome back to the Pacifist playthrough. We are on episode, I think this one is going to be 10. So, yeah. Um, I've got uh, a new guest with me on the series today, uh, Grin. Hey. What's up, How Grin? You doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing uh, fantabulous. Nice. Glad to hear it. So, um... I wanted to have uh, Grin on because we met during Rusty's uh, charity uh, Hollow Knight Steel Cell stream, and mm -hmm. uh, Grin informed me that he has actually already done a complete playthrough of the paths of the Pacifist Run. Mm -hmm. So I was uh, excited to have him on to just talk about his experience with it, and which it sound it sounds like it went a whole lot better than this one is going. <laughs> well, would you? Would you would you say that's the case so far? Uh, yes. Though, um, <laughs> you should... Yeah. I've only fair. seen up to episode six, because you haven't released the uh, other th the other two leading up to this yet, or mm -hmm. two or three or whatever, but, um, your current enemy count is a nice number, but it's, <laughs> it's, uh, a, it's, it's nice and, uh, it's nice and high. Ways. It's, it's... Oh, yep. say, <laughs> where you're standing right now, if you want to hop up the wall to your right. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, see, this is why I'm glad to have you on this episode. <laughs> well, I figured you'd want, you... if you didn't know about it, it's nice to have an extra relic, especially in this run. Yeah, um, absolutely. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, this run is definitely not for the faint of heart. And if you get frustrated easily at games, this uh, this will test your patience. But it's definitely, definitely something that's fun for people who enjoy the game, especially people who don't mind getting lost, or rather people who enjoy the world as a whole. Oh, mm. um, for, by judging you opening the map right now, yeah, I would say jump across the top, because the MMC is down there. Oh, yeah, don't want to do that. Oh, uh, don't want to I mean, you fight. could still zip through his arena, but... If you jump down into yeah. the hole with him, it tri like he wakes up and he his scream will still freeze you in place even, uh, like, even if you're not uh, gonna fight him. Like it'll freeze you. Like uh, oh, what I yeah. did, I was like I made it all the way across uh, coming into the room because I was going across mm -hmm. just to get the grub and the vessel fragment in the adjoining rooms. But on my way back, I did not have uh, mantis claw at the time. So actually, I wasn't able to get the vessel fragment at the time, but um, I was coming back through the room, and I realized I couldn't get back up to those upper platforms, so I had to zip through there as fast as I could. I still took one hit from him as he charged across, but oh yeah, those guys over there, if you zip straight up to them, you can get that uh, geo cluster without having to worry about them shooting at you. Really? Yeah. You can, just out you can just outrun them? Yeah, if you zip straight up to their faces, they'll close up and won't attack you. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's the thing about um, the Gulkas. If you get too close to them, they close up and can't be hurt. But um, that actually can be helpful right there. Kind of like uh, Elder Boulders. They can't attack you if you're right in front of them. So, like, the uh, ambush chest uh, in, like, the connecting room between Fungal... W or, not Fungal Waste, uh, Green Path and Howling Cliffs. Um, it's a lot easier, that ambush chest is, when you have... Uh, you're not going to want to kill that guy. I don't think you can kill him from just hopping on him, right? Uh, no. You'd have to hit him from the front. But I'm just saying, I don't know if Dream Shield can kill him, because I don't use Dream Shield all oh. that often. Oh, true. Okay, I didn't even think about that. It doesn't look like it is. Because it would need to Honest come up from below. Honestly, I don't even think I'm going to be able to do... Um... Do you have Dream Shield? Or, uh, Dream Wheel? Oh. <sighs> Damn. Shoot. Yeah, there's okay. a Gulka there. I'm sorry. I should have said something. Oh, you're fine. I um, I realized that um, so yeah. So for those listening, one of the reasons that like the frame rate gets choppy on some of the episodes is that I run this over Discord and it makes the computer slower. So um, mm. that's makes it a lot harder to do some of this platforming stuff. So honestly, I might save that one for a different episode just because. Oops, it wouldn't um, it wouldn't increase my, like health by one if I got this mask shard this episode anyways. So I'm mm. probably just going to go ahead and... Do you have the lantern? Um, no, wait, you were saying that you still need to grind a little bit for it. Or look around for it. Yeah, I'm going to try to get a little bit more cash to get the lantern for sure. Because mm -hmm. I was going to say, um, 
that was one really hard thing when I did a no geo run um, like for the first while I tried to go without the lantern then I realized deep nest was going to be impossible uh, remember, no geo and, run yeah no geo but then I realized uh, deep nest you need the lantern I mean, you don't need it. Like, it's theoretical. You could memorize the path perfectly and get through without it, the western half. But wow. um, I didn't want to try to go through that. So it ended up being a no geo except for the lantern run. <laughs> but, um, yeah. like, early game, I didn't have the lantern. So I did make my way through um, uh, Stone Sanctuary without the lantern. And that's scary. I mean, it's, I a actually, small uh, enough, it's a small enough area I, that you can do it, and some people do it, like, just in their first playthrough, because, I don't know, either they don't think about getting the lantern, or, oh boy, do not die to your shade. <laughs> that okay. would be embarrassing. Yeah. Now, I was going to say, do you have the dream nail? Yeah, I mean, you have to, because you have the dream shield. If you go back up mm -hmm. there to the top, to where those uh, two Golkos were on the wall... Actually, no. In here mm -hmm. is safer. Uh, there's these um, moss creeps here. Just dream nail them for soul. Oh, shoot. Dream shield is going to kill them, probably. Yeah, unless I... Oh, well. Wait, I think I can do it now. Oh, I oh, didn't load shoot. my dream shield. And Man, then okay. I killed it. I, I, I'm just going to go That's back the... to the bench. Cause... Except uh, MMC is... If you didn't wake him up already... Oh, wait a second. There's a... Uh... Soul totem to your... Okay, he didn't wake up yet, so you are safe to get back through this room. Okay. At least this time. See there, the roar locks you in place, even though yeah, you're leaving. Yeah, so now it's, gonna, now it's gonna lock me in, right? Yeah, well, not lock you in. You can actually leave that fight at any time. Uh, that's the way to Stone Sanctuary. There's a couple enemies in there. Oops. Um, y it doesn't ever lock you into that fight, but, um... Uh... Like, he will just show up and start plowing through the room if you enter that room again. So you're very likely to at least take one hit every time you go through that room. Yeah. Um, okay, so I might go... Which one of these areas goes down to... Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through Fog Canyon into Fungal Waste, and I'm going to um, go ahead and... If you're going to um, do that, take off Dream Shield. There. Oh, yeah, because that's going to mm -hmm. uh, activate the, the big jellyfish boys, <laughs> right? That's not yeah. fun. <laughs> not not looking to do that right now. It, even wearing Defender's Crest, and I learned this the hard way, Defender's Crest uh, is enough to pop them. Really? Yeah. I was, um, for a while there, when I was practicing the Pantheons, um, I, like, as, like, I had one extra notch, because I used the Mighty Melee Trio, um... Mm -hmm. Strength, Mark of Pride, and Quick Slash. And then I would always use Nail Master's Glory. And then I, I have all 11 notches, so um, I would like mess around with whatever my one notch charm was. And I found Defender's Crest is extremely helpful for Lost Kin, um, and therefore also Broken Vessel, but Broken Vessel already isn't too much of a problem for me. But uh, Lost Kin helps especially because the Infected Balloons have exactly one tick of health. So just touching right. the Fender's Crest kills them, making healing a cinch. Um, because he gets staggered so much. Whereas, um, like, I would use Defender's Crest throughout the entirety of the Pantheon of Hellenist, but when it gets to Umu, um, Pantheon Umu doesn't have Quirrell. So you have to knock Umas right. into it to pop the shield. And when you're moving around the arena as much as you have to and leaving a stink trail... Often the Umas yeah. will collide with the stink, sh uh, the stink, and rocket toward you, even if you didn't intend oh. to pop them. Oh shoot! You have thorns as well. Okay, so yeah, be careful on the descent. Yeah, because yeah, that I is one, that is the one downside of uh, passive charms in the pacifist mm -hmm. run. I will say that um, even though you're trying not to kill things, getting nail upgrades is definitely helpful. That's Willow. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Mm, this is not. This is. I need the double jump for this one, right? Yeah, the Helena seal yeah. in there. Um, yeah. didn't you want to get the mask shard in here in Queen Station? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one to the in here to the right, and then I think there's something else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a spore shroom in here. Yeah. Um, that one is a little tricky, with um without crystal heart. 
Oh, spore shroom is. Yeah, just a little tricky because you are above acid, and you gotta mm-hmm. you gotta like space your jumps so that you don't hit the thorns on the ceiling and then get, but still get enough distance to be able to jump off the wall and dash far enough to reach the next ledge. There's a couple of short jumps like that. Um, and otherwise, uh, spore shroom isn't terribly hard to get. Oh man, this frame rate is killing me. Yeah. Wait, do you oh, have as bad a frame rate as I do? I sure hope not, Ye- because... I-, I do, yeah. Holy cow, how are you able to t- even just congruently play? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's rough out here. Uh, yeah, if you, I was going to say, you took a hit. I would jump back to the bench quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> if that frame uh, rate is how bad... Like, if my frame rate, the stuff I'm seeing, is as bad as yours is... I'm actually applauding you for the amount of skill it takes to play with that choppy of gameplay. At all. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I think it's my computer. I think it's like, uh, I have, I play on a Mac, so it's not very powerful at all. Yeah. Wow. You might, honestly, with the amount of skill that it takes to do what you're doing, um, you could honestly play with debug mod. Uh, you could acclimate to it pretty uh, not not easily, but I could see you getting good at it a lot faster than me. Um, because debug mod, you can, like, as the name would imply, you can take away the knight, just make him invisible. It's often used, like, Rusty uses it a lot for recording end cards. He takes off the vignette and zooms out and then takes away the knight and the HUD. And then you get some nice, really cinematic shots. Yeah, I think he mentioned that to me. One, I think he did that one time to show, yeah, like... in the um, Quarantine and Chill. I remember watching mm-hmm. that episode. Yeah, in Quarantine and Chill. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did that. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, because I'd been asking him in the comment sections for a while up to that point, how do you get those awesome zoom-out shots? Because I never yeah. knew how he did it, because he did it for even some of his earlier videos. And it makes sense mm-hmm. that it's the debug mod. I just didn't know, because I play on the Switch primarily, so I don't really have access yeah. to mods. The only mod <laughs> yeah, I would ever really use is I probably that. Debug or maybe Room Randomizer. Just because Room I... Randomizer and Enemy Randomizer sound really cool. I want to try those. Enemy Randomizer is... It's so wonky, it's hilarious. Oh yeah, oh, even man. just okay. basic platforming with the frame rate. I can't imagine really doing hard. that. Yeah. Uh, it's not usually this bad, though. Like This is particularly bad. Um, let me try something. I'm going to try changing the frame rate. Okay, so we attempted to do some... Actually, oh. Yeah, that it, it even hey, looks Grim. better on my end. Wait, it's working better. What the fuck? I don't know. It actually even okay. looks cleaner on my end. Bro- Brilliant. I'm, okay, whatever we awesome. did, which was... <laughs> Practically Whatever nothing. we did, which was... I think I successfully maybe lowered the resolution... That might have helped. Whew. Yeah. It's playable. Wow. That's awesome. Great. All right. <laughs> wow. Okay. We fixed a bit of we the are, issue. We fixed a little bit Somehow. of the issue. Wow. Okay. So this won't be quite as um, mm-hmm. quite as difficult to do platforming in. Mm-hmm. Uh, up there is nothing. Avoid the Sporg. There's nothing up there except a lore tablet, and you need Spore Shroom equipped to read it. Oh, not about that. Yeah. Oh, cabbage and carrots into your skull. Oop. Were you just sitting on that pad? It looked like I you were was. just sitting on that mushroom. I swear I was. <laughs> I've actually seen, I i don't know if it was the same pad, but I've seen like screenshots of people with that. Are you going to open the, that little wall there? Oh, wait, what's in the wall? Um... A shortcut to Deep Nest. That's actually how I got in there in my pacifist run because really? I didn't want to fight. Um, because I, I mean, technically you don't kill the Mantis Lords, but I avoided the fight, just like as extra bonus. And so, um, nice. That's, I didn't even that's realize the only this other was way here. In. That's the only other way into Deep Nest. Um, like I, that's the only way to avoid fighting the Mantis Lords at all. I swear I didn't know this existed. This is brand new to me. That's awesome. Um. Yeah, so you just down there's down. a little geo right there. Uh, through here is the moss chapel, which actually you might be able to see them. Don't go back through that little crevice there at the moment. Down. Yeah, down don't here? go back through there yet. Otherwise, it'll drop you into deep nest. 
You can go down okay. here and grab the geo, but as soon as you start walking back toward the entrance of the room, it will break out the floor from underneath you. Oh, I see. Okay, so I shouldn't go through that entrance yet. Yeah, okay. not yet. Oh! That's what I was referring to. Oh, I thought you were talking about continuing further in. No, continuing oh, further shoot. in, you would actually be able to... Actually, you may not even have met the Moss Prophet before he was infected. If not, I would recommend, yeah, climbing back up. Can um, you go back up through here? Yeah, that's the left-hand path that way um, is the path back up. Okay, gotcha. And just zip as fast as you can. When it comes to dirt carvers, it's best to just keep going, keep dashing, never stop. Gotta go fast. Yeah, just go, gotta go fast. <laughs> Break that little shortcut there, and there you are. Okay, cool. So uh, are right. we ready to meet the minion voice actor? Is that through here? Yeah. Oh, that is a... Oh, oh, shoot. Yeah, okay. these guys are killable. They're also pretty slow moving, so, I mean... Oh, you probably don't have Dream Wielder... Do you have Dream Wielder equipped? Oh, shoot, you don't have Dream Shield equipped anymore. No, yeah, I took we it took off it and I forgot to put it... We took it off for the we forgot to put it back on. Yeah. Oh, shoot, oh, and now wow. you're down to two health. Yeah. Darn, hold on. Hey, what you can do if you want to cheese the system, those, um... Uh... Moss, uh, mossy vagabonds over there the guys that bounce at you they have a decent mm -hmm. amount of health so if you want to you can just keep going into the room hit them like three times and walk back out and it refreshes their oh, health so you can farm them i'm for okay soul. with that like if you want to save yourself the trouble oh oh shoot okay just wow. hit them once and leave okay <laughs> oops <laughs> i'm sorry I <laughs> my bad let, i led you into oh it. that's okay that's okay. I, I upgraded my nail once since the last oh, okay. episode. Okay. So that's, yeah, that's the confusion. Yeah, so just hit him once and leave. It might take a little while, but it's worth it to heal to full yeah. before you go into deep nest. Yeah, yeah, this is a, a trick that Grin just told me about that uh, he did for his pacifist run, um, which is just hitting them and knowing how many times it'll take to kill them so mm -hmm. that you can farm some soul. Mm-hmm. Oh shoot! Because of because this is a pacifist playthrough, um, you probably can't read that guy's dialogue because his followers are gonna keep chasing you. So it's hard to actually read what he's saying without killing the people that are listening to him. Yeah, I would Basically, like to hear what he has to say. Do you want to run down on his dialogue? I could pull it up on the wiki. That's true. We could just do that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Pull up. Um. Uh, my wiki. Actually, why do I? Why don't I just hold on? Uh, can you hear my uh, keyboard? A little bit. It's fine though. Okay. Not a big deal. Uh, okay. Dialogue compendium. Steam community. Yeah, this is a. There's a Steam community page. I could. I could link it in the in the chat. It's just, it's a compendium of all the dialogue, or a lot of the dialogue in the game. And um, it's got some really interesting, ooh, excuse, excuse me, some really interesting stuff that I think is definitely worth looking into. Sure. Yeah, send that, mm -hmm. send that thing my way. All right, so what are we looking for? Oh, yeah, um, Moss Prophet. Shoot, I gotta scroll a little ways. Uh, he's gonna be toward the bottom. Yeah, there he is. Moss Prophet. Uh, when you first speak to him, Oh, radiant being, we are blessed. Your rays touch us. Your warmth fills us. Hollow Nest is born again, united in your blazing image. Oh, light is life, beaming, pure, brilliant. To stifle that light is to suppress nature. Nature suppressed, distorts, plagues us. Embrace light, achieve union. Oh, and then his dream. That's nail. a lot of. Yeah. It's got a lot to say, huh? Mm -hmm. And then his uh, Dream Nail dialogue. Blinding, rising, never be empty. And then you probably found this guy... Uh, did you find this guy ever, like, later on? When... I think I, I... So I recognize this now. This yeah. is a place that um, I actually got up here through Deep Nest. Mm -hmm. So, like, I discovered this. And I actually remember hitting that um, thing that makes you fall back down. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... But I, I hit it coming out of Deep Nest. Like, I was mm -hmm. trying to get out of Deep Nest, and, and it knocked me north. back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and uh, it knocked me back in, and I was like, well, fuck, I guess I'm never going to get out of Deep Nest. <laughs> well, actually, once that collapses once, um, you can dash... Actually, if you time it perfectly, if you know where the, the, the break is, you don't actually fall down. Um, but, yeah, once you climb back out, you can just yeah. dash over the gap and get back over to where you came from. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, then the uh, there's the Dream Nail dialogue once they uh, become blobs. It's basically just light, bright, blazing bright. Because, uh, yeah, there's a couple instances in the game where um, characters talk about... Uh, like, uh, uh, not talk about, what am I... I'm trying to say... Oh, that works, yeah. If you just zip in when they're, like, just doing the little wind-up bounces, just yeah, zip in and dream nail them the... quick, yeah, that's a lot more efficient. Oh. Oh, I actually, can still if you can do keep, it. If you can keep it at the right distance to where it doesn't actually trigger... Oh. Brilliant. Oh, and you hit both you of both. them. You hit both of them that oh, time. Oh, so wow. You have double the soul. That's awesome. One more. Oh, so close. Yay. Nice. All right, you're good. Full Topped soul. Off. Great. Awesome. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, I think I can do this platforming now, too. Yeah. Uh, did Oops. you get Did you get Sporstrom yet? Probably not. No, I uh, I messed up the platforming, and I had to go back and heal. That's right. The platforming is a little tricky, but it's not, it's not too it's bad. Not, it's not undoable. Yeah, this one is the hard one. Just getting close enough to the thorns to where... Uh, you have enough distance to get all the way across. There you go. Sweet. Okay. That's... All right. Okay. So you're that's gonna, good. To are have. you gonna go for deepness now or? No, wait. I suppose you fought um... the mantis lords, so you can take the normal way in. Mm -hmm. Though, if yeah. you wanted to go for the grub that's surrounded by the mimics, you could do that quick because that's like right there. Is that in fungal wastes? Uh, no, it's in uh, deep nest. It's like in that first major drop area. Um, from the north. From the north. Or the like where we where we are right now. Yeah, There's I could do that. There's a grub surrounded by uh, mimics. Did you find that one? But like in the your first playthrough. Like there's a I th a room. Actually, with no. Oh. Dang it! I wish I would have kept it a secret and just said, "Oh yeah, there's a grub over there." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Darn it! <laughs> Rusty's going to be mad at me. <laughs> Actually, a lot of other viewers are going to be mad at me. <laughs> it's okay. I had, honestly, so much of this game was spoiled just watching Rusty play. I suppose. So, but yeah, yeah. just uh, when you, I was okay when you make it. the drop, just or I guess you could just yeah take the path down. If you take the drop, it's a bit faster. I'm topping off my soul. All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, I was going to say... Yeah, that works. All right. So if you take the main drop down and just hug the right-hand wall, or I guess, yeah, you can take the path down too. That works. Um, but hug the right-hand wall of the main drop room, and um, that'll get you over to the other side quick. There you go. And then, whoop, dirt carver. Oops. All right. So basically, immediately hop up and right through that hole in the wall, go straight across. Oh, like shoot. this one? Yeah. Yeah, just keep going straight across, straight across, straight across in that room. Right there. That wall. The wall, it's indented slightly, you see? Oh! Right there. Oh, great. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I would recommend... Yeah, heal. Actually, I wonder if you get soul dream nailing mimics. Maybe. Because I know that's a way to tell if they're real or fake. Okay. It says so the, kill. Yeah, that's a mimic. So this is a mimic. That's great. Uh, hop over it. Why did you open it? Now it's going to forever spring every time you're in that room. Oh, no. Really? Yeah. Like, even if you... Whoop, now if you leave the room and come back, it'll just be sitting there without the uh, jar. Okay, run, run, run. Oh, my God. That was... Oh, that sucks. Yeah. How now, am I going to get my... Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that is the closest bench. Oh, my God. I should have warned Fuck, you that about sucks. opening that. Oh, that's, a, that's okay. It's not your fault. 
Damn. Okay. Um. Shit. Well, I mean, okay. you got. Dream I'm gonna Shield. try and get my. <laughs> I mean, I, I got the grub though. Yeah, you did get the grub. It's the third one of the four mimics in there. Oh, there's like four different jarred grubs, and the third one's the real one. I don't even bother opening the others, like even in a normal playthrough, unless I I'm going that. for like yeah. full hunter's journal completion, where I want like the completed entries. I'm Damn. sorry. <laughs> Uh, down. Yeah, it's just making your way further down and then to the left. Hey, Cornifer, and later, Mr. Mushroom. That was a mushroom voice, if I've ever heard one. <laughs> <laughs> then when you hit him, go. Oh. <laughs> I love the mushroom voices. I love all the voices in this yeah, game. Yeah, the, the freaking vocalizations. I can't imagine how much fun know, Team Cherry great. had and their friends just recording that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Leth, the PR guy, um, for Team Cherry, he did the Nailsmith. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm, run Joe Stinja. Yeah, he's good too. He's got a great voice. Mm, Vandasu. Okay, I'm gonna get some of my. Man, it's gonna be hard just to make my oh, way back to this Oh, shoot with Dream thing. Shield. Oh, time that perfect. Nice. Okay, yeah, though Dream Shield. I suppose it does knock them back, but once again, Dream Shield does the same as one nail hit. So even if it hits him once, it shouldn't kill him. Yeah. But I mean, if it even if it does... Oh. They don't respond until you sit at a bench, though. So if your Dream Shield all can did get kill all of them... Uh, you can still refill, like, you refill two full charges of soul in the main vessel, and then any smaller vessels you can fill. So honestly, even if, if you have all of your uh, smaller soul vessels... Then you have, like, you know, uh, six full spells worth of soul that you can contain. Yep. Straight through there. There. Okay. So, this is going to be the hard part, because the first... I think you killed the first one with Dream Shield. The other two might still be alive. So, you're just trying to get... You're just trying to get your shade and get the heck out of dodge. Um, yeah. he, maybe heal that last mask if you can. Yeah. And then... Okay, yeah, the first group, the first one is dead. There's the second one. So yeah, it takes him a second to spawn, so run in there, smack the heck out of your shade, and get out. Okay, run. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's got to be there. one of the most unholy sounds in the game. Oh, it's awful. And it's it meant is to be. Absolutely awful. It's meant to be horrifying. Okay, I need to get to a bench. Uh huh. Closest bench would be yeah, failed tramway. Okay. So just um, just go out the way you came. Oh shoot. Uh, up. Okay, straight out. And then just take the long drop. Climb up, take the long drop, hug the right, oh, dirt carvers, and then drop straight down, pits, and drop. Now it's a garped room. And then um, at the bottom of the garped room, you're going to want to hang a left out of the room. Unless you didn't open the shortcut, but I believe you did. If you didn't, you're going to have to go, oops. Oh, did I go back up? Yeah, um, just to the left there, unless you didn't open the shortcut. If you didn't open the shortcut... Okay, you did. Whew. Okay. Okay, good. So, yeah, the, the bench is, like, right up there, right above you. Okay, sweet. 
Ash is in dust and thirst. There are some pits, 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 <laughs> oxes, thousands of oxes. Okay, cool. Um, so, all right, what else is there in deepness that I can get? I know there's some stuff. Um, Weaver Song is a hassle to get to. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily go for it. You're not going to fight Galleon, though you can go past him mm -hmm. just to get the Lifeblood Cocoon, which has three uh, life seeds in it. Though it's not necessarily worth it, unless you're just trying to fill out the map in his area anyway. Um, you don't have. Is there to... a mask shard above the tramway? Uh yeah, but you need to. No, not the tram. Uh, tramway right above the tramway, the working one, uh, is a vessel fragment. That's the Garped Pogo section. Mm, that's right. The mask shard in Deep Nest is like, you can't even really say it's in Deep Nest. Technically, it is, but. You have to come through Fungal Core, and you need Monarch Wings to get there. Oh, right. Okay. So, oh, yeah. I remember where that is. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what else is in Deepness? Let's um, see. Um, if you saved Zote in Green Path, he'll be here, and he will remain here until the end of the game, unless you free him. Um, let's see. Weaver Song, if you wanted to go for a charm, you don't want to fight Nosk, even though he does. he is guarding a Pale Ore. Yeah. And he's relatively easy to cheese. Like, he's a boss that tests your endurance more than anything else. Mm hmm Um, wait. You have the channeled nail, right? Yeah. You have the channeled nail. Um. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't be too terribly hard. Um, there's a grub in his room, though, if you wanted to grab the... Oh, wait a second. You don't have Chris... Do you have Chris... You don't have Crystal Heart. No, Because you need yet, either Crystal Heart or Monarch Wings to even get to Nosk and the grub that's next to him anyway. Oh, never, never mind. mind. Wait, so um, where is Weaver Song? Uh, okay, you see the the long room sticking out by itself toward the bottom? Mm hmm It's just to the left of that. There's a big open room oh, with a bunch that of stocking room. devouts. And it's, a, it's a pretty yeah. long way down. That's a hard one to get to. Yeah, and it's like the hidden entrance to the Weaver's Den where Weaver Song is, is right behind a stocking devout. Mm -hmm. And those guys are a pain to deal with. It's one of the few that you... You can tech... I mean, okay. There's only two stocking devouts in the game that you cannot get past um, without fighting unless you have Shade Cloak. And both of them are in the uh, in the Beast Den. One is the first one, which... Um, I mean, I could tell you about that one. The other one is directly guarding Hera. Um, but actually, the first one... I was showing Rusty and I think Moss, because they were the two that were on during the live stream. There is actually mm -hmm. a shortcut to get through most of Beast Den without activating the bench. Like, you don't have to sit on the trap bench. You can just skip, like, the first half of Beast Den and hop right in um, without sitting on the trick bench, because there's a secret opening in the ceiling. But you do need um, Monarch Wings to get it. Okay. I um, think it sounds like there's nothing in deepness for me not to do really. now. Not so uh, really. Sharp Shadow need... requires Shade Cloak. Nosk, you don't want to fight. Uh, Weaver Song is a hassle to get to. I don't know if you want to go for Hera yet. And you don't have the Lantern yet, so I would definitely not re not recommend going any further. Actually, yeah, I, yeah, I would back, back out. If you keep going, you're gonna drop down into the uh, you're gonna drop down into the uh, hot spring and have to work your way up the long way past Zote. So I would recommend just going back up the way you came, honestly. I could also go through the Mantis Lord area. Yeah, I suppose you could do that. Um, cause then I could. Well, well, no. you could, actually, if you did that, you'd be able to get the uh, Whispering Root directly above Mantis Village. And, oh, that's true. And um, there's a Wanderer's Journal in there too. Okay, yeah, I might as well do that. Because I assume you came from Mantis Village to Deepness the first... Oh, yeah, I watched that. That was part of Episode 6. You came to Deepness immediately after Mantis Lords, and I was like... <sighs> <laughs> yeah. um... <sighs> oh, there's a... Stop, stop. Before you move any further, um, dash into the, into the wall at your upper right. Right there. Oh, cool. I did not did know have... about that opening for a long time. Uh, though you will have to rush to the bottom because this thing is loaded with deep hunters. It's uh, a yeah. wanderer's journal. Oh no. Shoot, I may have screwed you. Oh wait, you got... Okay, dream shield. Oh no, it is isn't just... seal. You will need to... Oh shoot, I didn't even think about getting out. 
Okay. okay. Yeah, you can do that. Just hit him from a distance with Dream Shield. There you go. Cool. But yeah, that Helena seal, I didn't even know it existed until I started doing major research on relics and stuff that I may have missed. And um, one, there were only two relics that I did not find naturally. Um, and this was one of them. Because it's such a tight gap in the in the wall right there, hidden in shadow. The other one was the one, uh, the Wanderer's Journal just outside the stag station in Green Path. Oh, shoot. This is a very tight area. Oh, damn it. This is where you it. died last time. I'm sorry, I may have screwed you. Oh, God. Fuck. Fuck! I'm sorry. God damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. And... Okay, shoot. never mind. I'm back. Okay, I'm, I'm still in Deep Nest. Yeah. Shoot, hold on. Um... Okay. Did you open... Oh, wait, you have a simple key. So you know what you yeah. could do? Just go back what? to Dirtmouth and open GG. Because you do have That's Rancid true. Egg as well. I do, And honestly, yeah. that is one area you don't want to try to go back to because you're just going to keep losing Geo. Okay, yeah. Especially I'm, in I'm Pacifist I'm just going to do run. that. So I'm just going to go back the way I came, yep. north? Yeah. Or up? Um. Yeah, just right, and then there's a little drop down, then there you go. Now it's just the climb back up. Which, it's mostly, there's this Garpede room, and then it's just a ton of dirt carvers all the way up, so just sprint. Whew. Nice. Baited. Oh yeah, there's this, okay, that Garpede sweet. right there is like way faster than all the other Garpedes in Deep Nest. <laughs> really? Yeah, the one that was like right below you. Not the first one in that room, it. but like the second one, it's way faster than all the others. Okay, so now it's just the climb back up, and that's just dirt carvers and dirt carvers and dirt carvers. So just dash. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, dear. Uh, wait. Uh, yeah, I think you have to go through... You don't have double jumps, so you're going to have to go through that little zigzag room. Down here? So, yeah. Right through there, and then go straight up as soon as you get in there. All the way to the top, and then right. And never stop speeding. Keep going right, up, left. Yeah, you got it. Nice. And now, I don't remember... Yeah, you, I think you broke this opening. No, you didn't. Okay. So now it's just dash across. There you go. And you're almost out. Oh, we got this. Yeah. Oh, we we good. We good. We good. And now you can farm soul if you need it. Yeah. I'm going to do that just because I'm scared of <laughs> yeah. losing all that, you know. Oh, so I'm noticing a weird pattern with uh, you and Rusty's playthroughs. Um, episode 6 uh, seems to be the number for making weird decisions or silly mistakes <laughs> what did we do uh for rusty's quarantine and chill um he essentially he was he spent the first 15 minutes of the episode looking for simple keys and then he finally <laughs> opened his inventory and he had two he told me about that <laughs> yeah it was that was hilarious because yeah. he even went to the track i actually need to find it. an yeah that was i need to find episode. an extra one uh, another simple key? Yeah, I'd like to find another one because I'd like to get into the um, waterways. waterways. Yeah. Um, well, the one you have right now... Okay. I got it's it from the City one... of... I got mine from City of Tears. Okay, so the other one will be from Sly. Like, that'll be the next easy-to-get-to one. The other two are in Ancient Basin and Pale Lurker. Pale Lurker uh, behind the Coliseum. So that one especially is way out there and... Honestly, it's not a worthwhile kill. Um, yeah. If you want Monarch Wings, which I'm going to assume you're going to want it eventually, I mean, you don't need it. And the list that the guy has on Reddit doesn't have you needing it. But um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to go for it. Uh, that's like on the way to Broken Vessel is where you get um, that other simple key. So I'm going to... In the, I would, in I would the think that basin? You, yeah, in the basin. Uh, it's yeah. like right in the big little uh, loop de loop that has all the mall lurks in it, the little station, the stationary acid spewers. 
Okay. I don't think I know that. It will you if you've fought broken vessel, you will have gone through it. It's not oh, okay. not necessarily some place that is particularly memorable, but it's Oh shoot, didn't mean to go here. Well, I mean That's okay. It's a stag station, you can just s- select a new one as soon as you stop. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, it's Hey, no so. Hey. I've been working on like uh, I was telling Rusty the other day, uh, we had a little chat, um, that my screensaver, uh, just for my desktop, is just, it cycles through a folder I have of screenshots of every bench in the game. Oh, nice. And that's, it's just really cool to look at. But I was that's realizing cool. how many different characters, like, how many different benches change depending on the characters or the areas that you're in. Oh, you didn't rescue Bretta yet. Oh yeah, where uh, that's in just in fungal waste, right? Yeah, it's uh, well, it's it's right below Mantis Village, right where you get Dash Master. Yeah, hey, wait, you okay. have Dash Master, don't you? Mm-hmm. What do I do for what do I do to save or what do I um what happens when I save Bretta? Um, she opens up her house and there's a mask shard in it. Oh, so, okay. So you get a free mask shard for saving Bretta. Okay, I might do that then. Mm-hmm. It is a bit of a trek to get down there, though. That's true, because it's not close to any stag stations. No, the closest mm. one is Queen's Station. Though, if you're going to open the waterways and bother to go get the map from Cornifer... Oh, wait. Getting the map from Cornifer would entail killing that room with ten rumps in it. But, I mean, if you had if you went through that room, which you probably won't, that would open a shortcut back out to the fungal wastes, like, right next to Bretta. But it's really not worth it, if you like, pacifist-wise. Yeah. There's a lot of the the pacifist run that's just prioritizing how much do I want this over keeping the integrity of the playthrough. Right. Yeah, good point. So the simple key's expensive, right? Yeah, 950. Oh, yeah, that's way more. Yeah, I'd r- almost rather just go hunt one down and find one. Okay. Well, the only other one that you're going to be able to go for like without killing anything uh is the one in Ancient Basin. Okay, and that requires think... you to get to the others, uh, get to the other side of the city of tears, drop down the elevator, or wait a second, do you have the tram pass? You have the tram pass, I right? Could, yes, I could yeah, go from take... resting grounds to um, well, no, I was thinking um, shoot, how far into the city of tears have you gotten? Like it doesn't look Pretty... like you have the map. Yeah, you don't have the map for it because that would require you to go through that ambush room to get I the have, thing um... in front of her. Um. I think I can only go to city store. Oh, wait, resting grounds. Wait, no, 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 no. Yeah. You don't have desolate dive. Dang it. Damn. Um, shoot. I think the best bet for you right now is to go to Crossroads and get Crystal Heart from Crystal Peak. No, wait a second. We don't have the lantern yet. Dang it. I have. Go- I could go to Forgotten Crossroads, go I down, wait, and hold on. get... How, I how could technically get into... I have, um, 223. Oh, shoot. I could tell you where all of the uh, geocaches oh, wait, get are my... in the crossroads. Oh, and you could talk to a grub father. I don't know how many you've rescued since the last time you've been there. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. I think I've rescued two. Mm-hmm. And then I could tell you where all of the geocaches are in the crossroads. Yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> I definitely uh, oh, need did the you money. Get the... I think you got the hell in a seal in the well shaft, right? Yes, I okay. think so. Is there anything in the Howling Cliffs? Uh... As far as... Okay, the only things of interest in Howling Cliffs are Gorb, uh, Nailmaster Mato, a couple smaller geocaches, and the activation of the Grim Troop. And one Grub, but that one is right above the Balder uh, room, and it's actually faster just to take the uh, green path. Ooh, Grub Song. Oh. Nice. Yeah, you actually Okay, haven't... I have... Uh, so you've only rescued 11 Grubs. Yeah. Okay, Um. I'm... there's the... Uh, the break in the ceiling right over there to the right. right I above think I've you. done that one. Yeah, I've done that one. You got all the geo up there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me make sure. Yeah, yeah. I've done that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, if you climbed up there before, then yeah, you probably got it. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. If you keep I going... got the geo in the... I got the geo from the brooding Moloch area. Okay. Did you actually end up fighting the Moloch? You don't I tried, to. and then I, I backed down because I was like... I mean, you don't Dying need to. a lot. Yeah, you don't have to, so... Um, did you get this grub over here? It's in this room. 
Um, where is it in the room? Uh, just to the right and up. Yes. Yeah, you got him. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think. So, there's a geo cluster in the next screen. Not this one, but the next one. But that one you almost certainly got. It's the one that's guarded by two venge flies and it's directly over a path downward. I yeah, hate it when that leaping husk gets stuck there. I know. All right, you're good. Um, let's see. There's no geo in the mines, like in Myla's area. Oh, yeah, and Myla's uninfected right now. That's good. Um, okay. Yeah, I would go down from here because there's nothing of worth upward. Right. Let's see. Um, that's the entrance to the to the so, uh, peak. So we why need the lantern so for that. Do you actually need the lantern? Yeah, I was actually, uh, that was something I was going to say uh, specifically, because I remember Rusty said something about it in the sixth yeah, episode, I, I think, that he was like, you don't need the lantern. It's like, well, you, don't need you do it. need it. Like, so you, you, you can get up to where you need the, where you need to pay the gate, which there's only 50 geo to open the gate, but, like, it doesn't act as though the gate is interactable unless you can see it. And you can, okay, if you turn around... It's like two steps behind you. You can see the toll machine. Oh yeah. But it because it's on. dark, it doesn't say inspect or whatever to pay it. So you do need the oh, lantern okay. to be able to pay the fifty geo. It kind of sucks that way, but that's the other way in. Yeah. Um, let's see, going to the right, there's a couple geo clusters that you probably already got. Past this room is the room with all the aspid mothers. Um, and there's a geo cluster at the top of that room behind some spikes. You already got that one. Got that um, one. The Actually, I might have the gotten tram most station. Of the ones. In the tram station, there's a hidden geo cluster that s some people find. Most people do, I guess, but some people don't know is there. To the right in the tram station there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Shoot. Oh wait, is actually just to the right. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, shoot. Yeah. I'll leave the room and come back, and they'll all despawn. Yeah. That was unfortunate. Yeah. Whew. The longer they stay alive, the more dangerous they get. Yeah. Okay. And that was the second one, so it should be up a little ways. All right. Um, so right below the... Oh, yeah. And you have the tram pass. Um, right below this platform. You probably already got it. Oh, no. There it is. Sweet. That's another 15. Nice. Um, let's see. Next. Let's see. There's no extra geo in Salubra's village area. Um, let's see. I'm just reliving the different areas. Uh, there's the gom rooms. Oh, wait a second. You have Mantis Claw now. So you could... I don't know if you got it already. The Mask Shard and the gom maze. To Where's the left. Where's the gom maze? To the left. Um, it's... Wait. If you open your map again. I can't point to it, but um, you see the hot spring with a bench. It's like directly yes. below that. That room right there. Okay, in the, the yeah. Long the long path underneath. I might not have gotten that then. Okay. Yeah, it's one that most people see early on, but then they forget to come back to once they have Mantis Claw. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I probably haven't gotten it. Mm. Uh, it's just up past this Aspid that's going to spit at you. Oh, and or, or you'll me, run into him. I mean, either one is possible. <laughs> 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 All right, so it's uh, the next screen over. Oh, there's one right there. There's a Geocache to your right. This one is kind of a sucker unless you have okay, Gathering yeah. Swarm, which you do, which is cool. You get a, You don't necessarily have to dash out of the way. Just take a couple steps, hit it again. There you go. All right. Nice. Um, there's another small one right there by the Gomes. You probably already got that one. No, wait. It doesn't look like you did. No, you did. Which Never one? Mind. My bad. The one right there. Down it. <laughs> oh, okay. Gotcha. You got that one. That's all right. Um, so, yeah, that's all the Geo in this room. There's... Uh, the next screen over, there's another small geocache um, directly below the entrance of the room. You probably got that one. It's in plain sight, pretty much. Uh, yeah, right through the tr uh, right below you, here. You probably already got that one. Yeah. Yeah, you got that one. Okay. So it's in this room, all, uh, just to the left of these three gomes here. Um, yeah. You just need Mantis Claw to get to it. Yep, it doesn't look yeah, like you've okay. been up there. Yeah, there's a mash card. Yeah, sweet. Okay, cool. Yep. 
And if you wanted to, while you're sitting here waiting, you could just dream nail one of these vertical gomes for soul. You'd have to time it, though, because they hop oh, in and out pretty, didn't... Qu pretty quick. That's one thing that um, some people don't think about in uh, the Colosseum, like uh, Trial of the Fool. There's that section with all the garpedes coming vertically from the ceiling. If you have Dream Wielder, or even if you just time it right, you can Dream Nail the Garpedes and refill your soul before the aerial section on the walls. Dude, that's insane. It's like the, it's like how you were talking about this game's like consistency. With oh yes, yeah. like it's the way so that it's awesome. World works. Yeah, it's it's really consistent. Mhm. Mm oh, you're at full soul. If you wanted to heal once, and then you could get one yeah. more. This is such a lifesaver, honestly. Oh yeah, like my friend. Um, when I showed the game to him and he fell in love with it as much as I did, um, he in, as soon as he got the Dream Nail, he was like, that's when this game went from good to great because there's so much that the Dream Nail does that people don't even think about. And Soul is a huge part of that. Honestly, I, I barely ever use the Dream Nail the first playthrough. Like, I need to start yeah, using it Yeah, most people don't. I didn't. Like, I was like, oh, yeah, Dream Nail, it acti activates certain things and you need it to finish the game. Yay. But no, it's mm -hmm. it's so useful, especially with Dream Wielder. Yeah. You get twice as much soul, and it slashes twice as fast. Dream Nail. Yeah, is, I didn't realize Dream it was such a. Yeah, Dream Wielder is like, it's probably the, if not the best, then the second best one notch charm, in my opinion. Damn. Um, ooh, this room to the left. If you haven't been in here already, it has three geo clusters right below you. Well, no, no, it's like straight down. Oh, you got those, dang it. Yeah, I think I got these. Um, let's see. Right below that is Fungal Waste, so I would... I'm reliving the areas in my head. Uh, you definitely... Oh, you almost definitely got all but one of the Geo Clusters in the Ancestral Mound. The only one left is the one in the ceiling next to the Whispering Root, which you can't get to without Monarch Wings. Um, let's see. Molex, yeah, that's Yeah, that's... If I remember correctly, that's all the geo clusters in here. Oh, unless you no, you didn't. It doesn't look like you did. Um, the glowing, the entrance to the glowing womb room. Wow, that's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say. <laughs> uh, right above the stag station. Um, oh, that wall right there, up to your left. Uh, there's a soul totem behind it. Most people don't know about it. It's not that. super useful. It's a smaller totem, but it's it's kind of nice to have. And they probably put huh. it in there because the room right next to this um, is just a small room with a breakable floor. So if you had Desolate Dive, that's where you would go to get the Gome journal entry. Oh, interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, like, it would make sense that they would have a soul totem nearby if you didn't have soul at the time and you wanted a Desolate Dive. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, sure. right above the stag Am station I... in the crossroads is where you would go to get the, uh, uh, there's a geo cluster up there next to a husk bully. And then once you get the crystal dash, you'd be able to, um, uh, get glowing womb, but that would huh. require like a big gauntlet of aspids. So it's not worth it for the run. Oof. Uh, I think I'm going to, oops. <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, as soon as you drop down dash, right. And there's just a clean drop all the way down to Leg Eater. It's just a short little drop that's nice to have. But yeah, Leg Eater's right over here. Um, I wouldn't recommend buying anything, even if you don't have Fragile Greed, just because we're not killing right. anything. At least trying not to kill anything. Yeah. So Greed, while it is helpful normally, um, it's not super helpful in a pacifist run. Honestly, um... Uh, relics and geo clusters are your best friends. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I if think there's... I'm gonna try to. So this episode is um, getting close. I think I might okay. just try to run as quick as I can down to save Bretta. Maybe? Oh yeah, and on your way down, uh, there's that little room that connects to the northern part of Mantis Village. If you see it on your map, there's two little gaps that connect together. Yeah. Um, in oh, there is yeah. a Wanderer's Journal if you wanted to grab that. Oh okay. And then, yeah, make your okay, way down to the do bottom to grab uh, Bretta. And then would you save there at the Bretta bench, or would you make your way back up to Dirtmouth, grab that Mask Shard, and then call it? Wait, where would I grab the Mask Shard? Uh, from her house in Dirtmouth. Oh, like once, I might... Once okay, you save if... her, it... Yeah. Ooh, let this Sporg uh, 
Like, if you can lead that Sporg to blow himself up, you can get that Geo Cluster right in front of him. But it's kind of it's kind of sketchy because it's the that guy right there. Oh, I see what you mean. It's a little it's a little sketchy, especially considering their double damage explosions. Yeah, I might not do that. Yeah, Elder Who is off to the right, um, but we don't need to go in there if you don't want to. I mean, you're probably not going to kill him because going for the basic ending, you don't need to worry about essence at all there's a little bit of essence actually like if i get i think i get something good for like 500 i forget what it was though. uh 500 is a vessel fragment okay so that's not that crazy yeah like most of the gifts from seer are actually useful like the first one is just a hell and a seal but pretty much everything after that is actually useful stuff like uh the second one is entrance to the spirit's glade at 200 300 is a pale ore which actually is worth going for um yeah, but the definitely. only the only reason you should be getting essence is from whispering roots. Like because otherwise it's killing something. Um let's see. Um uh, 500 essence is a vessel fragment. No. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. 500 is dream wielder, which actually also makes oh. the dream shield bigger. Like it has a That synergy. would be that would be clutch for me yeah. specifically. Yeah, because like a oh, there's Geo right up there. If you wanted, oh, wait for that to explode, like right up by those amblooms to the right. Ooh, okay. Okay. I certainly want that. Yeah. Um. What was it? Oh, uh, five hundred is the vessel fragment. Nine hundred is uh dream gate, the ability to set that little teleport marker. Um. And then 1,200 is uh, an arcane egg, 1,500 is a mask shard, 1,800 is the awoken dream nail, and then 2,400 is just to finish off her dialogue. Wait, left. Yep, I'm not going this way. <laughs> well, I mean, you beat the Forgot. Mantis Lords, so... Oh, wait a second. Dream, wheel, uh, dream Shield would probably aggro them. Yeah. Like, you'd have to be really careful, because they respect you now, but Dream, wielder, uh, dream Shield is going to aggro them. Uh, that's just true. Uh, that's the entrance to uh, fungal core, which you need monarch or yeah, monarch wings for. Uh, the yeah, that's right. The journal is just to your right. It's on the right hand wall, up from the bottom. You do need to go to the bottom to get to it. Bottom oh, you bottom. do. Okay, I see. Yep. Oh yeah, and you have the dream nail, so you could grab. I think this is actually the sm the smallest whispering root in terms of what it gives you, but it's it's still essence, and you want that dream wielder. That's true. I do. Oh, shoot, though. Now I think about it. Dream Wilder is 500, and the maximum amount of essence you get from all of the Whispering Roots in the game is 482. Or, no, 487? Mm. It's 480-something. I'd have to double-check. But um, Well, when you think about it, the Dream be... Boss is already dead. So I guess <laughs> if you want to stretch your imagination, you really want it. <laughs> you could go for it. I mean, yeah, I don't you. need it. I don't need it that bad. But I can get the upgrades that are less than Dream Wielder. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I can on, get like the three hundred or whatever. Yeah, that's a uh, pale ore, and you definitely want mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I definitely want pale ore for uh, sure. For I'm sure. I'm scrolling through my reference guide to get to essence, just to remember mm. exactly Where, how much you get from. Did I miss any? No, it's full. Did I get them all? Yeah, the, when the tree turns into that spiry, spindly-looking thing, that's when you have all the essence from a tree. Like, okay. the tree has a secondary form where it looks a lot like the original, just with its branches, like, upturned, and it still has the dream catchers on its branches. But then once you get all of the essence in the room, it turns into that spindly-looking shape. Okay, I'm scrolling through pale ore, gear, keys, nail arts, one uh, relics. Where is essence? Rancid eggs, essence. There we go. Uh, 482. Yeah, from all the whispering roots. And some of them are kind of a pain. Oh boy, you're right. I am definitely aggroing everybody. <laughs> I uh, well hold a second. Uh, what are we getting again? Oh yeah, we're just going to get to Breda. So just yeah. as soon as you I'm get the geo clusters geo. in this room, just sprint out the right hand door. Up. 
Actually, that was helpful, because that took you back out. Yeah, honestly. I'm okay with that. Oh, shoot. Um... Uh-oh, sorry, dude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would heal the rest of the way. I mean, yes, you're almost to a bench, but there's a fall Don't coming up take with acid chances. at the bottom and a lot of mantises yeah. you could aggro. Hi. Honestly, a lot of mantises I probably will aggro. Let's be real. Yeah. Whether purposefully or otherwise. So, yeah, <laughs> I would sit at the bench right here on the right. Yeah. And then, right. yeah, Bretta's just off to the left. Sweet. You do have Dash okay. Master, right? Yes. Okay. I think I will I think I will end at this bench because this episode's getting kind of long, but I'll make sure that I make a note for the next episode to, like, first things first, go back to Dirtmouth and get... Um, the Shard from her house. Yes, definitely. Yeah. I've actually never saved Bretta before. You haven't? Oh, wait. No, never. Oh, man. There's a... That is a hefty storyline that is a lot of fun to uncover. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. Uh, okay, it's all the way at the bottom, just past the Dash Master statue. Oh, I see. Mm. Oh, um, yeah, just go for the wall. Go for the wall. There you go. Oops. Yeah, you just um. slide off the bottom of the right hand wall and dash to the right hand, the further right hand wall. Just slide off the bottom. Oh, dash. I see. Go. Gotcha. Yeah, it took me a while to figure that out. My first play there was like, <laughs> what? Yeah. I was trying to, like, jump off the wall and dash oh. up the... Yeah, it's just holding the uh, directional pad or the joystick in the direction you're going to dash and just dash. It's so sketchy, but it's it's doable. Oh, of course the frame rate is dying right now. Oh, no. <laughs> One last dash. Boop. Awesome. Yes. We got it. Oh, please don't leave me behind. Don't worry, Brett. I won't. You really feel bad for her. So I just, le so I just open the thing and leave? Mm-hmm. She says, oh, sorry. I better get home. Back to, ho back, uh, back to town, I mean. Thank you. Aw, huh. she's sweet. Mm-hmm. Hey! Sorry, my sister's just turned on an old tube TV and just <laughs> a, ra a crazy amount of static just in the background. <laughs> Girls, please! <laughs> That's okay. We're about done with this episode. Thank you again for tuning in to... Um, this very oh my god is this playthrough gonna be so much longer than your pacifist run <laughs> ridiculous well, i mean i've spent hours just pouring over maps just for fun so i <laughs> yeah. mean it would make sense that after like over a year of just studying maps at least the mapping section of things which is a big part of the pacifist playthrough um yeah would be something that i'd be used to but hey thanks for having me yeah, thanks for being on. I'll definitely have to have you on again if you want uh, for another episode awesome. later on. Yeah, hopefully this won't be like a <laughs> hopefully this won't be a, th a forty episode playthrough. But I think we're making progress. So hey, thanks forty again episodes for would actually on. be pretty short for uh, for most Hollow Knight playthroughs. Honestly, that's true. I mean, my first playthrough is literally like fifty or sixty hours or something. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.